outside downstairs. Women being trained how to be carpenters, electrical workers. They're great at the job, Jim, and we need them. Right now, there's about a million women who work in construction jobs in America. I have launched a new initiative called A Million Women in Construction. We need another million women. How else are we going to build? Well, with all the jobs that you're creating, and they are they are jobs to build factories, some people feel that we've forgotten to do it. We're not able to do what we want without women doing contracting. I'm not talking about just hammering. you got a hammer, but you got a contract. you got a contract. You have to do it all. You have to contract. It's complicated. It's detail-oriented. Perfect example. Last week, I was in Portland, Oregon. They have a huge semiconductor operation there. They want to build more semiconductors. So the fellow who runs the building trades was there. I said, what's the unemployment rate in the building trades? He said, zero. We're at full employment. I said, well, you got to find mil- uh, thousands of people to build a new facility. You better figure out a way to train women and make sure they have child care and they show up on the job because otherwise we won't, we won't get the job done. All right, so let's talk about the 200 apparent applicants I'm hearing that won in on your CHIPS Act. Describe how that's going to work and what kind of companies you're attracting. Yeah, it's amazing. So, you know, we put the application out uh, less than a month ago. A month ago. You know, you never know. Will, Will they come? Who will come? More than 200 applications from all kinds of companies. Legacy providers, leading edge providers, suppliers, packaging, uh, the, in, the overwhelming response. So now we have to get to work. You know, we're going to have more demand for the dollars than we'll have supply, but I couldn't be happier do, with the response. But, but Madam Secretary, I'm going to interrupt. Yeah. Do, we, uh, do we favor companies that have already spent a lot of money in America, or do we favor companies that spent a lot of money in China or a lot of money in Taiwan? Is there a pecking order? There's no pecking order. We have a mission, right? I have to invest $50 billion on America's national security. What we're buying for this $50 billion is national security. Enough chips of the right kind and the whole supply chain in the United States. So some of the money will go to, you know, packaging companies, leading edge companies, uh, but it has to be spent in America. And by the way, we've talked about China a lot. If you take our money, you can't expand in China for leading edge, for advanced chips. You know, there's certain guardrails on this. You can't take the money here and then use it to invest in China. But I have talked to the heads of most of the companies of the largest semiconductors. They're all in on that. They feel like that their, that their intellectual property has been sold for years. They just wanted to have a, a base here, but they couldn't afford it. Will they be able to afford it? Is the money you have enough seed money? Because you know we are considered to be the highest cost producer of semis in the world. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it will be enough. Yes, they'll be able to afford it. And they need to innovate to bring costs down. Right? The reality is, if I do my job right, this is a one-time infusion. Five, ten years from now, they have to innovate to bring the cost of making chips down so they can do it sustainably in America. But yes, I'm confident this is going to be a big success. Well, how about uh, th- this political movement to say that if you provide things like child care, it's suddenly the socialization of a business? I- I- I'm trying not to laugh at that. It's ridiculous. It is laughable. Feel free to laugh. People said to me, oh, uh, Secretary, you-, you, ha- you put these strings attached, no one's going to apply. I doubt it. 200 have applied. I mean, isn't that the proof of the pudding? If they all were worried about having to give childcare to people, maybe they would.